Sun Tzu's method is something that all Chinese military strategists and state administrators must learn. For example, in fact, during the war, we saw that many entrepreneurs, including the leaders of many teams, were learning this thing. They were typical of things such as the impermanence of soldiers and the impermanence of water. They couldn't attack, right? These are all. Everyone is learning from that aspect of him. Some people have to defeat us to defeat others. So this is an issue we need to study. So we think that as a fighting organization, every soldier must be strong. Second, our team must be strong. And leaders especially must become the backbone of the team. What is the third one? The leader must be at the forefront. So I am still a model worker in the company. You see, I am writing and telling jokes every day. But in reality, the development of our company is driven by me because our company is resource driven and we make money by approving notes from our leaders. We don't do this kind of thing. Should we rely on the government to make some money by producing fake materials? We are not involved in this issue. Therefore, we need to rely on strong product capabilities to develop our operations. So this is our combat power to win on the battlefield. Only in this way can our team go far and the village chief can bring better benefits to everyone.